What's going on, Knuckle Hedge? GKM Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes unboxed video for you. And today, I'm bringing you some awesome footage from my guildmate, Agile Pirate Gladiator. So, this is a long time coming. He and I were talking a while back, actually, during the Yeti event of, hey, um, I want a seven star Yeti. What is the best use for this unit? So, of course. I suggested it as a Magisto's Tower team, because why not? Now, this is definitely not a free-to-play Magisto's Tower team right here, because what we were talking about was obviously Magisto and Wu for some of that magical synergy. And we also wanted to use Yeti, so Magisto is great with Yeti because their ultimates really synergize well with each other. And the cool thing is you could use Magisto's ultimate, and it's a two-turn dizzy. So you can technically, you don't have to delay it, but I prefer to delay it and kind of follow it up right with the Yeti Ultimate. But we also threw Slimer on there because Slimer's really great, and Slimer synergizes really well with Egon, who we put on as the fifth. So the reason we're doing this is because Egon can throw prepared at people, and with Wu's ultimate, so you could have Wu use his ultimate, Egon follow up with his ultimate, Magisto follow up with an ultimate, and then Yeti follow up with an ultimate. That's ideally how we wanted it to work. But did it really work out that way? I don't know. Let's take a look at some battles and see how things went. That first one was just kind of the intro battle because I saw Yeti died early there. But let's take a deep dive in and really see what's going on here. So we're facing, looks like a... Ghostbuster Jago hybrid Magisto's Tower team with no Magisto on it. So obviously when you see a techie unit, you gotta use your Thunderbolt on them first. Look at that clumsy and disarm. So the bad thing about this team is no other Ninjago units for Master Wu to call for an assist. And I actually have really started to realize how powerful that is. Uh, can never go wrong with Slimer, but see Slimer just got saved there by some of the magical enchantments. Obviously, Wu's going to do a little healing. So, I mean, he he likes to use the taunt with Yeti, but my suggestion was not to taunt with Yeti really ever unless it's like you're trying to save someone's life. So I think the, the strategy really is kind of use Yeti to just do a lot of damage because you know he's an attacker so he needs to be attacking so i never liked that yeti even had the taunt uh i especially don't like that the ai goes with yeti's taunt right away so here we have the first ultimate woos got all that get his ultimate off but oh wait no that was against us how did that woo go before our woo with the ultimate strange oh the slow so slimer must have uh speed downed everyone so yeah, I like Slimer on this team because it makes Egon's ultimate a little stronger. Oh man, I wonder if we're going to lose this one. No, look, our Master Wu gets his ultimate off. And now we are about to crush it. Ooh, wait. Yeah, that's just going to be a follow-up crush. No ultimates needed. So we didn't get to see the combo done in that battle. But what we did get to see is... This is a strong, strong team. And, you know, I like Yeti for a lot of Ice Station Odyssey teams, but I really do like Yeti with this, I'm going to call it like a Magitech team, because you got Egon and uh, and some magical figures. So now we're facing a, a Trader Transport, I guess, Castle Team, Castle Spooky Team. So obviously you're going to want to go after Willa first. I like that he didn't taunt right away with Yeti. Great move. Egon's going to throw the buff on himself and on Slimer, so they both get that debuff immunity. So that was another reason we really liked Slimer for this team, was for the debuff immunity that it offered to him and Egon as Slimer being a spooky figure. So now he throws the taunt up. I probably would not have taunted there, but it is a good way to protect Egon. Um, Egon is very, very um, fragile. And you don't want to lose him. I mean, he's not, he's not like four-star Vankman fragile, but he is somebody that people will focus down when they see him. So you do want to have some protection in there for Egon. All right, so here we have the Magisto ult coming in. 
Let's see how many dizzies it gets off. Wow, it didn't actually dizzy anyone. So that stinks. Uh, but it doesn't mean the ultimate's useless uh, because now you still have a Master Wu ult, which really disarmed Vulnerable, looked like the entire team. Bam, Slimer finishes uh, Basil off. Egon's now going to follow up with three crits on his ultimate. So the honestly, the Master Wu-Egon combo is just dirty in general, but it's, it's heavily used for a reason. But I think when you throw in the Magisto Yeti combo with those ultimates, you really have something special. We don't really get to see it too much yet. But, I mean, I have used it. with. I have a six-star Yeti that I, I use it. And sometimes you get it off and it's really, you know, you're not always going to get that mass stun. But it's it's a tool in the box. You know what I mean? Yeah, And, I mean, look at this. This team was another big win. And I think a lot of it has to do with Egon and Slimer, obviously. But Yeti has been playing a role. And he does a pretty fair amount of damage. He has that taunt if you need to try to protect some of the bigger guns. You know, a big AoE ultimate that does a lot of damage that really synergizes well with Magisto's ultimate. I think Yeti is definitely a usable top tier figure. I feel like he's not used enough. And I'm looking at him on this team and like, okay, this is a team that I can rock out with this in Arena. And I think, you know, am I going to dominate that? Are they gonna? The question is, are they as hard to beat as like a Gorwell Spooky Trader Transport team? And I don't really know that that's the case. Uh, this footage is a, about like a month old, so it's from before the last quote unquote update. But there's nothing in here that should really be affected by it. You know that anti stealth from Egon, and then do you follow up with the AOE? Does he follow up with the AOE or no? He's just going after Lloyd. If you get that double hit, it's really nice, especially on somebody with Dizzy. Uh, so what I was actually starting to think about using Yeti with, it was an Ice Station Odyssey. Yeti, both Ice Planet figures, Commander Cold and Kelvin. Um, Quincy, who I have at 7 star, and Magisto. And then I was actually using that. I was adding a 6th with Chef in Brickspedition. And that was a pretty good Brickspedition team. Uh, Chef is another one who's really interchangeable with with Yeti. Anybody who does Dizzy is really good to use with Yeti, and it just appears that Magisto and Chef and even Argenta might actually be better options than some of the chill figures. Especially now that the glider has been nerfed, I think I'm kind of not as inclined to use Aurora with Yeti anymore. But I think when we're talking about what is the best team that you can use right now with this figure... I think this is it. And why I like this team a lot is because Yeti is more of a complement, right? He's got that ultimate, which is going to add that debilitate and might stun people. So it's really just complementing these powerhouses. Kind of similar to how you could have either Garmadon on this team or another one of the Ghostbusters. I think Yeti is just another great player another great unit you can plug into these well that's pretty much all i got for you today enough lads just remember to smash that like button hit that subscribe button ding that little bell for some notifications and as always remember to knuckle up